I was going to wear my Gryffindor jumper again for this one, but then I realised that this jumper, which I bought the other day, which is maybe the coolest thing I've ever worn, it made me think that maybe if I really was a witch and I was living in the muggle world, this is the kind of thing that I would wear to try and blend into normal society, but still get slightly wrong, which actually is probably a theme for most of my wardrobe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. There are definitely some terrible parts of kind of being considered a grown up by society like having to spend money on things like a boiler. That's pretty awful. But there are also some quite good parts of being kind of an adult. And one of those things is once you've paid all your bills and you've paid your rent and you're sorted for the month, you can spend the rest of your money on literally whatever the hell you want. If you want to have cake for breakfast, you can go do that. And if you want to spend 50 pounds on a Harry Potter mystery box, I mean, sure, you do you, my friend. So I've made some bad decisions in my life uh, this could well be one of the worst, but I could actually fully blame this on one of you guys. I received a little message on Instagram letting me know that a website called Firebox, which is like a reputable gift website where loads of people buy super random Christmas presents from. Anyway, this message let me know that Firebox was selling a new Harry Potter mystery box, literally designed for suckers like me, who the wizarding world means so much to that you stick the name Harry Potter on anything and I will give you my money. I will throw my money at you and run away with the cheap tat. Honestly, you wanna market Harry Potter dish sponges, maybe with Mrs. Weasley's face on them? I'll buy them. You wanna create some processed cheese that you claim has been made by house elves? Sure, that's my lunch for tomorrow sorted. I basically have no control when it comes to the wedding world. So I worryingly, very worryingly, didn't even think twice about buying this. So I'm now 50 pounds poorer and own one cardboard box which contains a series of mystery Harry Potter items. Um, and if that's not the recipe for a great video, then I give up on this whole YouTube thing. I don't know what you people want from me. I figured while I marvel at my own complete lack of judgment and while I continue to be in complete denial about the fact that I can't really afford to buy things like this, I thought I'd open it on camera, why not? But if you wanna go from the Firebox website, this is apparently a chamber of secrets. I don't know if that's just like a clever, hilarious play on words, which I wish I'd thought of for the introduction to this video. Damn it. It literally just says a box full of magical Potter based mystery. That sounds okay to me. Give a Potterhead a present they weren't expecting. I mean, that's slightly more concerning. That could literally be anything. And obviously they're trying to say that it's a great Prezi to buy a Harry Potter fan for Christmas. If not, a slightly risky one. <laughs> Imagine opening this around the tree and finding that there's like an umbrage shaped egg cup inside. Actually, I would quite like that. If there isn't one of those, I'm now gonna be disappointed. <laughs> I know that a lot of mystery boxes on YouTube can be incredibly dodgy. Like, it's not all that surprising to find like a pair of old knickers in some of them, a few little clumps of old men's beard maybe lurking in the corner, half a cat maybe. But seeing as it's from a reputable site, it didn't seem too risky. All I can hope is that there's no like leftover sandwiches inside. So I'm gonna get stuck in and open my Harry Potter mystery box. I'm really excited. If you do enjoy this video, then please do give it a little thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. So good start. This is actually well and truly taped up and I've forgotten to bring the scissors into the office with me. So I'm gonna have to use the only vaguely pointy object near me, which is actually a cat fur brush. But I guess at least the cat part kind of suits the whole witchy vibe that we've got going on today. I'm really excited. It feels like Christmas, but I bought it all for myself. Ah, oh, what do you know? It's literally just a box of every flavor beans. Alas, earwax. Um, I don't really know where to start here. Where shall I even put all of these every flavor bean polystyrene thing. I should have thought about this properly. I'm just gonna have to put these on the floor and future me will hate current me. Oh my God, so there's already, I mean, this is annoying for you cause you can't actually see, but there's already like an official logo. And I didn't think any of it was gonna be official. Oh, maybe this won't be an overall absolute encompassing disaster. Okay, I'm just gonna dive straight in and go for this enormous thing to start with. What is this? Oh my God, we have got, a Deathly Hallows projection light. How cool is that? So I think this is just kind of like a light box that I would put on to get all cozy in the evenings in the living room or something. 
but then it actually projects the symbol onto the wall as well. That's really cool. Although it does kind of make me think that if there are wizards out there and they happen to see through my window that I'm projecting an enormous light of the Deathly Hallows, I feel like that could invite some suspicious characters into the home. Like if Xenophilius Lovegood's just walking past, he's gonna knock on that door. I think it's gonna shine out the front as well, but then there's also two little symbols on the side here, which I think are also gonna project. So I'm literally gonna have the Deathly Hallows all over my living room. Adulting goals. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go for this interesting shape that I can see. This is all official Harry Potter stuff. I was not expecting that at all. I've seen people open like wizarding subscription boxes before and stuff, and it's all kind of like homemade other brand sort of Harry Potter, but not quite official. So I'm gonna go for this interesting shaped one here. What is, oh my God, how cool. So I might not have got the actual Goblet of Fire, but I've got my very own little Hogwarts goblet. This is the cutest thing ever. So apparently this is a colour change water glass. Mysterious and magical. I guessed initially that it would change the colour of your drink, but that would probably involve legitimate magic and I need to calm down. But I think what this actually does, which is slightly less magical but still very cool, is that if you put a warm drink in here, the Hogwarts crest stays the same, but if you use a cold drink, then it turns it black and white. So that's pretty cool. That's really lovely. I really like that. It's the proper Hogwarts crest and I'm very excited about the fact that I will now only drink beverages from a Hogwarts chalice. Okay, what else have we got in here? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God, I love this. I'm such a nerd, I need to get one. <laughs> I literally love this. As if I need another notebook in my life, but if it's got Harry Potter on it, it doesn't count. So this one is a undesirable number one Harry Potter poster in notebook form. And this is kind of like a holographic, what do you call this? It's not a hologram, that would be impressive. But it kind of moves when you move the notebook, kind of like a wizarding photograph, which is a really cool little touch. Inside, it's got the little logo of the glasses and the lightning bolt, and then the pages are just lined with the same little graphic in the top corner there. I literally can't wait for Adam to come home and find all this new wizarding world stuff all over the flat and just be like, really? Although he's actually reading the books. I actually can't believe that I have to admit this, but my boyfriend is currently reading Harry Potter for the first time right now as a 25 year old man, but it's taken us nearly three years into our relationship for me to get him to read it. So never give up on your dreams, everybody. Right, what's next? Oh, no way. Oh my God, this is amazing. So to go along with my new notepad, I also have a wand pen. I've seen these before and been like, no, you have to draw the line somewhere and a wand pen is maybe where the line has to be drawn, but not if it turns up in a mystery box. I'm pretty sure this is modeled on Harry's wand. I think his has got a handle on it like that. Obviously it's a slightly stubbier version, but I absolutely cannot wait to take this everywhere with me and whip it out inappropriately in important meetings. Uh, next one. Are we ready to go? Let's see what else is in there. Uh, let's go for this. I think this is a little one. This little one is a little Harry Potter light. I'm sensing a light theme going on here. My home will never be dark again. Or indeed my life, because it's now filled with excellent Harry Potter merchandise. A little dome. It's almost like a little Harry Potter snow globe. And then once I put some batteries in it, I think you just hit this button here and he'll light up. That is, too, that is too cute. I'm gonna sit this little Harry on my desk, I think, and he can keep me company when I'm working into the wee hours of the morning in the pitch black. <laughs> Ooh, this one's heavy. Let's go for this one. What is this? Oh, it's a mug. Ironic for someone who's just spent 50 pounds on a Harry Potter mystery box. You might say I was the mug in this situation. I'm actually kidding. I think this is pretty great so far, to be honest. Although two lights, two stationary items, and two cup slash mugs. Variety is not their strongest subject, is it? Oh, this is actually really nice. So this is a golden snitch mug. I'll do a close up so you can see the design properly. If I saw this from a distance, I probably wouldn't gravitate towards this one just cause it's kind of like dark and it's not really my normal style. But now that I'm looking at the design up close, it's actually kind of amazing. Oh my God, it's got so much detail to it. As well as the big golden snitch that's like the main design, it's got all of the Hogwarts house banners on it. It's got actual Quidditch rules on it, like in proper words. It's not just like little scribbles. A bludger is a round jet black ball made of iron. It's 10 inches in diameter. There are two bludgers used in every match. So I can swat up on my Quidditch knowledge while I'm having a cuppa. Feels really nice quality. Hopefully I can stick it in the dishwasher. Not suitable for dishwasher. <sighs> The dishwasher, the true magic of our world. What is this? 
Oh my god! Wait! Oh my god! This is... This is so weird. I'm pretty sure I made a joke earlier about an egg cup. Didn't I say something really stupid and mad about an umbrage egg cup? <laughs> I'm taking this round the tree and finding that there's like an umbrage shaped egg cup. An egg cup. Sorry, this is so weird. Is this wizards and witches of the real wizarding world trying to pass on the message that I am actually magical? I actually can't believe that. I'm kind of freaked out. That, sorry, that is, that is divination outstanding level N-E-W-T type magic right there. Anyway, aside from my newly discovered unearthed magical powers, I've actually got a Harry Potter egg cup. <laughs> Maybe this is the best thing I ever own. Like, actually, maybe. See, you might think that half the stuff I say is absolute nonsense, makes no sense, and is plucked from obscurity and my weird sense of humour. But actually, maybe it makes more sense than we all realise. This is so cute. Oh my god. I love this so much. So here's the little body that your egg goes in. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to have dippy eggs as soon as possible. And then once your egg's inside, he wears a little Harry hair and a pair of glasses, which even has a scar on it. And then, seeing as you've got a magical egg, you can't just have plain old muggle toast. So you can also use the cutter and have lightning bolt toast. I'm gonna live all my dreams tomorrow breakfast time. Okay, this is hands down my favorite thing in this whole mystery box. I might have even paid the full price just to own this. This video has confirmed so much to me that I have suspected already. Turns out I am in fact insane. So that's the end of my Harry Potter mystery box. We got the Deathly Hallows light, the colour changing Hogwarts chalice, the Harry Potter notebook and the wand pen. Particularly excited about the wand pen, not gonna lie. The little Harry in the dome desk light, the golden snitch mug and then finally the Harry Potter egg cup which has blown my mind in so many ways. Do you know what? Total honesty, I was fully expecting to open this box and be quite disappointed and really regret spending 50 pounds that could have gone on beer. Seeing all of that together, if you bought that box for someone for Christmas that is a big Harry Potter fan, no Harry Potter fan is gonna be mad at that. That is a great little selection of bits and bobs. Like, yes, it's all very expensive for what it is and sure, it's like not the most amazing quality but for like a few fun bits of Harry Potter merch, I don't think that's too bad at all. And for a Christmas prezi, like, come on. And last but not least, to make us all forget that I spent a grand total of 50 English pounds on all of this nonsense, obliviate. So that is all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, I'll be hanging out in the comments, so make sure you head down below and we can have a chat about all of this malarkey. If you did enjoy this video, then please do give it a little thumbs up for me and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, both at Lucy Jane Wood, and I will see you guys very soon with another video. See you later. No regrets. You know, apart from all of my major life choices. <laughs> Goodbye.